G'day, my name's Darrell Webb. Today we're going to look at the Olo Olight Warrior Mini 2. Uh, it's, they bought it out in a nice new camouflage pattern. Anyway, we'll have a really quick look over its specs. We'll look at its build quality and um, we'll just get some nice detailed looks at it and some beam shots at the end. Uh, Olight AU, Olight Australia is having their fifth anniversary sale. They stuff up the 40% off, so I'll show you how that's sort of all working and the discount code in there. Anyway, but uh, on that note, let's bring the camera down here and have a look at it. Okay, you see this is in that uh, limited edition desert camouflage, but it's the Olight Warrior Mini 2. Um, next level of security. Uh, it's some of its specs there. If you want, you can pause here and look at them. Um, but, uh, let's get in how it actually all sort of happens. Have I opened the wrong end? No, I haven't. It's a little pull here thing. All right, so I have had this out and I've been using it, um, but um, pretty much the light itself. And um, as you can see, it's sort of in that, just like the Warrior 3, I guess, but in the mini format. It's got the tactical tail switch, you know, half press or full press, and you've got the little side button, um, so you can go through all your different light things. Uh, what else is in there? In the packet there is... A booklet, a nice little rubber hand lanyard, which is quite nice. Um, I did had some of the fabric ones in the past before, but they do wear out after a while, so it would be nice to try and see what a rubber one lasts like. There is a, um, well, normally that's under there, under the battery. You've got to remove that so it will work. Uh, there is a MCC3 charging cable, so it does the 1 amp, the 1.5 amp, and the 2 amp. There is also a little ring that can be mounted on there or there, depending on how you're setting it up. And there is a little knopper climbing ring. Let's open that up. And it's just a little knopper climbing O light. Just a little ring. Okay. Um, all right, let's just have a quick little look over the light. It's quite impressive. Um, it's got a nice little delicate bezel. Not too aggressive, but it definitely, it's definitely there. It has the sensor. So now, if you go um, like half press on there, or if you go full press, you've got turbo. And when on turbo, if you bring it in, you see it dim down. And it brightens back up, dims down. So that is so you don't burn things. As you've seen some of the videos on here, these things will burn stuff. All right, um, let's just have a quick little look in the book, what it says. We'll just get a quick little, this little page here. So it's got turbo, 1,750 lumens, and um, it'll go four minutes like that, then drop down. And we'll just go right to the other, and it's got a moonlight mode, which is one lumen, which lasts 45 days. Uh, it's got 220 meters of throw. On turbo, it's 1.5 meter drop proof and it's IPX8. Waterproof, water resistant. So the specs are good on it. Um, I've sort of been playing with a few different O-lights and um, there's different sizes in for their batteries. That seems to be the way they're all built. This one is based around the 18650. It's a customised 18650, but it's based around the 18650. So that means you get, so that one you're sort of getting that 3,500 milliamp hour, that's a good 18650. Um, but you're getting that smaller form factor. Uh, I'll just show you a couple of the other things that I have been using. So this little guy here, the uh, S2R Baton 2. This is probably one of my favourite little ones to carry, but there is a couple of things. I love its form factor, but there's a couple of little things that um, I sort of miss off using the Warrior 3. The Warrior 3 has the dual buttons. I love having a tail cap. This one doesn't. Um, I also like having a little bit more energy. This guy is, I believe, 1,150 lumens. This guy has like 2,400. So... When you're everyday carrying, you sort of get used to the performance of this, but it runs on the 21700, so its form factor is a bit big, and I found myself pretty much using this more around the house or around the car. It's sort of that size. It's a bit big, a big, bit big, a bit fat, a bit heavy for pocket carry for me. So 
I had this guy in the 18650 form factor. I found that little slim down and definitely lighter weight. That was really, really nice. But I missed the, uh, the extra power and I definitely missed the tail switch. Hence, when I got the chance to have a look at this guy, the Warrior Mini 2, I had my eyes on this. And yes, believe it or not, even though I do reviews from them, I do actually buy some of my own stuff from there. Um, I, get the, I get these um, gifted to me from... from light um, and I don't let that sway my um, opinion on them if it's not a light that I think is very good I would definitely say it but um, this was one I was looking at and I was going to buy separately myself I have actually bought several lights separately myself so um, you know I'm keen on the brand uh, the fit and finish is really really nice the bezel it's good it's got a different it's got a much larger reflector than the uh, S2R2 that's what it's called S2, S2R baton 2 sorry um, it's definitely got a bigger and a slightly deeper reflector. Um, beam profile, I'll try putting it on. Let's see what the camera picks up. Okay, so you can sort of see there's quite a lot of flood and a quite tight little hot spot. If I compare that to the uh, S2R, it's got a, a bigger hot spot and probably less flood. So I do like the beam profile of this. Um, and I also like that it's got quite a few different modes in it. So even just from the side switch, so if you, um, it will round robin through. It's on off. Hold it in. What have I got it done? Oh, I had it too close to the box. Okay, so turn that on. You got your low power medium, high, if you double tap it, you got turbo. If you triple click, you got strobe. And from the off position, if you hold it in, I probably just locked it out there, but if you, if you hold it in from off, it'll go to moonlight mode. Sorry, there's moonlight mode there. Moonlight mode's hard to pick up in this daylight, but it's, uh, it is useful, and that will go for 45 days. So that's a good little... Uh, that's a good little bit of a uh, feature to have. So, but most importantly, um, you have that sort of medium on the tail switch and or straight to turbo. So that's important. So I pretty much end up having this guy on low, the side button. If I just want low power, I hit the side button. There's my low. If I want medium, I hit the tail switch. If I want turbo, I hit it there and I've got turbo, which is blinding. Um, the form factor, now, just laying these back down, you can sort of see it. As I said, this guy here has been my favorite, the pocket carry, but unfortunately, he's a little bit down on the power. I've missed it, maybe because I'm used to this guy. Um, and he's dropped down into 18650 size, which I like. The uh, Warrior Mini 2 is definitely a little bit um, longer, but um, the length it hasn't been a problem. It's more the thickness, and he's only a little bit longer on the thing, but the advantages of having that dual tail switch um, definitely outweigh it, and it's got a lot more power at 1,750 lumens. The Warrior Mini 2 is a new upgrade of the Warrior Mini, and one of the most powerful compact tactile lights on the market. It produces an astounding max output of 1,750 lumens with a 220 metre beam distance. Despite its pocketable size, its newly approximated proximity sensor drops the brightness level proactively in case of obstruction. As the success of the Warrior Mini, this flashlight still features the side switch for daily use as a tail switch for tactical operation. The three level battery indicator tells the battery level and when to charge. And the customised 3500 mAh 18650 battery charges with the MCC3 magnetic charging cable. In addition, the carabiner style ring is included to enhance portability. Okay, so um, I'm looking where I normally look at, where I always test the lights. At the end of the street there, there is a sign. It's like a dead end sign. It's got arrows. That is at 100 metres. So I will start off, and you probably won't be able to see this, but I'll wave around the ground in front. There is moonlight. I'll just shine that back. You can see that's, that's moonlight. Okay, so now I'll go to uh, low. I can see that, that a bit for the viewfinder. Now we'll go um, medium. You can see it there, going up to the end of the street. We'll go high. <clears throat> Again, down low. You can sort of see the size of the spot and how much flood there is. 
we can end in a straight at 100 meters 100 meters is a long way for a little torch like this and then we'll go turbo so i'll double click and there is your turbo i said down on the ground there you can see there's a huge amount of flood and a good size hot spot quite big but uh very very functional and that's it for the beam shots pros and cons um It fits in between the Warrior 3 and it fits in between the smaller uh, all-day carry lights. Um, so for the pros, there's definitely some pros there, as in it's got 1,750 lumens, sort of, sort of around that 1,100, and it has the, uh, the dual tail cap and a side button. So you can still go for all that stuff, set it up so you can have three different light available at the touch of a button, and, um, and it's form factor. With the 18650, um, as I said, it is a tiny bit longer, that but the battery configuration makes it a lot slimmer and a lot lighter so even this guy's only a little bit longer um, the weight the weight savings is significant this one's maybe a tiny bit lighter but um you still get a three and a half thousand uh, milliamp hour battery you're still getting really good run times on these as i said on moonlight up to 42 days so um there's no worries about run time and the proximity sensor is a nice thing to have i said you never think you need it until you don't until you you know, accidentally burn someone's nice coffee table or something like that these things do happen with these lights they're extremely bright man you can't really under sell that how bright they are and they do get hot and they this the light coming from will burn things you start fires with them so the proximity sensor is nice the bezels are much more appropriate bezel for pocket carry it's still there um it's a striking bezel i guess you know i wouldn't want to be struck with it but uh it would hurt but um it's not so uh vicious so not, not so savage that will uh, cut your pockets and rip your jeans and things like that um con wise i can't really find any it's got the new um mcc3 charging in that and um and it's got all the features i like about the warrior 3 um but in a form factor much more closer to the s2r baton 2 um with similar run times but a lot more power so that's it for pros and cons conclusion that's going to be my new everyday carry. As I said, I like this guy. I do, and it will not be disposed of, that's for sure. But um, I did miss the power when using this of this. So the Warrior 3 definitely has uh, the power more like I like it, and this guy is a lot closer to the Warrior 3 power-wise than this guy is. So um, without too much of a penalty on weight or size. Anyway, on that note, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you didn't like it, Thumbs it down twice. <laughs> and um, if you are interested in this light, check out Olight on um, their site. As I said, they're having their five year anniversary or five, fifth birthday. I hope you want to look for Olight Australia, Olight AU. And um, they're having up to 40% off. The sale starts on the 17th of the 8th at 8 pm at night and it goes through 11 59 pm on the 19th of the 8th. So a two day sale, as I said, there's up to 40% off. Um, anything that's not on sale, uh, they've given me a, a code. OA10, I'll put that in the description as well. If you click on that link, it'll give you 10% off anything that's not on sale. And if you're watching this video, obviously, and the sale's not on, it's after the sale, then that uh, will give you 10% off too. So, um, yeah, anyway, if you're keen after one of these, uh, which I really like, uh, then, um, yeah, hit them up on their sale. You get some great discounts up to 40% off when they have their sale. So it is a good time to buy the Olight stuff because it is a premium product and they're priced accordingly. Um, anyway, on that note, I'll catch you next time. Bye.